Hey guys, how's it going? I just wanted to make a quick uh, video of this uh, vehicle speed sensor off of the manual transmission 5-speed. Um, I was looking around, kind of trying to get some more information just because, you know, mine obviously broke. I'm sure this is quite common for a lot of other people where you get the plastic um, speed sensor, you, you put on the 17 millimeter open-end wrench, it slips, you put on the vice grips, try heat it up, try and, you know, lubricate it and hope to God it works, but it doesn't really work, right, because it's still just plastic in the end. Um, so at least I was looking around for some information, couldn't find anything. Uh, so I just wanted to at least try and contribute um, and help you guys out if uh, if possible at all. Um, so when you look at this vehicle speed sensor, um, more than likely, it's more common than not that it's going to be seized in there. Just wanted to show you that I was lucky enough that I actually had two transmissions. <laughs> so I was able to screw with one and save one as well. So I actually got pretty lucky in that case. So I just want to show you guys that these uh, speed sensors are the same. So what we were going to do, this is the one that actually I transferred over already. Um, but just to show you what this is, so right, so it's a plastic 17 millimeter open end wrench there on the bottom. Doesn't really do the job because it just slips right away. So that one's actually the one that I just saved and transferred. But I'll show you an example of what actually you can do on this one. So if it actually breaks, you can still see some of the, the red stuff it comes with. It actually looks like it comes with a uh, sealant or like a, um, like a Loctite even from factory. Um, so when it actually breaks, well, how I got it out was a lot of people are saying that you're going to have to separate the halves um, and you're shit out of luck. That could very well be the case, but I mean, there are easier ways. So as you can see, I'm going to try and get this as detailed as I can here for you guys. So when you look at the hole, it is taper, right? So when it was broken in here, what I was able to do, since it is plastic, I was able just to kind of chip away at it with the hammer. So I, I chipped it inward first to try and at least take off some loose pieces and cave it in. And then after that, I went straight up and down. That camera angle might not be the best, but um, straight up and down. And when I went into it, actually, when I when I started tapping the screwdriver into it, this little taper here on the hole, or the chamfer, if you want to call it that, when you lightly tapped it down, it actually made a nice um, ledge there for the screwdriver to help it go straight down, instead of damaging the threads or um, or the case. When you tap it straight down, it actually slides off the edge and into the sides of the hole. So I was able to first go from the sides and then go straight up and down and then actually just tap it all the way around and then cave it in there. So after that, I was able to use needle nose pliers to get out the big chunks. And a lot of people are worried that you'd actually have something fall inside the hole, but I'm you know here to show you that it looks pretty good on the inside that it's actually um, filled in the hole. So what I did is I cleaned out all the big bits and then I just took a vacuum cleaner to it just to kind of suck out the rest of it. But it actually turned out pretty good. Um, but as you can see, it's not just a, a dead drop right into the transmission hole. There's actually something there. Thanks for watching guys. Hopefully that helps you guys out just because I know it. Uh, I was a little bit worried about it. Thanks for, uh, let, thanks for watching again and let me know if you guys have any other questions. Thanks.